Hi, today I'm going to answer the question uh, is flaxseed oil okay for dogs? Um, hi, I'm David Musgrave, author of um, Oopsie, this <laughs> Take Charge of Your Happiness, Belly Fat and Sexiness, uh, which has been written for women. Um, but today I'm going to talk about um, flaxseed oil for dogs because uh, somebody on the uh, Facebook asked the question, is it okay for dogs? And the interesting thing is that there was a response from a member of the public saying uh, they do much better on fish oil and krill oil than they do on flax. Um, I respectfully disagree with that and I'll give you the science as to about why. So, <clears throat> um, we start with the situation where um, both humans and dogs have a lot of genes in common um, that's because we're both mammals and um, nature is very conservative so the genetic the enzyme pathways that work in us um, to a very great extent work in dogs so about 25% um, of the uh, genes between dogs and humans are identical um, and 75% are very, very similar. Um, the other interesting thing that I discovered in, in just doing a bit of reading before I did this is that um, very recent research is showing that the um, microbiome of dogs um, is the most similar of all the uh, research animals to humans. Um, so, and that accounts for about 90% uh, of our 99% of our DNA anyway in our body uh, in the microbiome. So basically what applies to humans applies to dogs uh, and so you've got a situation where um, both humans and dogs involved on the a diet from grass-fed animals or, or from plants ourselves as we do um, and dogs eat a bit of grass here and there too. So the omega-3 content of that is, is like that and um, the omega-6 content is like that so um, we ha end up with our bodies having roughly equal amounts of omega-3 and omega-6 to them and that's where we are at the most healthy because we've evolved that way over hundreds of thousands of years so the problem arises for both dogs and humans in that um, most of our lower quality food um, has a lot of um, protein in there from um, oil seed um, residue or, or press cake which is high in omega-6 and low in omega-3 and so <clears throat> the net result is both dogs and humans end up with a, with a major imbalance with I can't remember which way I did it now um, too much too much um, omega-6 and very low levels of omega-3 so that applies to dogs as well and so we've flax oil is the only only oil um, apart, oh, sorry and chia um, have, which have the high omega-3 content that you can take to bring that back into balance where we should be where our body evolves to be now the second issue is um, that the um, while we both have the genetic capability of, confer uh, of converting ALA into uh, EPA and DHA, the longer chain omega-3s that you get from fish oil or krill oil, um, because there's a deficit of ALA in our diet, um, the enzyme pathways and genetic pathways are down-regulated. That's because uh, food is information to your genes so if you're not getting any uh, the genes just go to sleep um, and the enzyme pathways go to sleep so it, it can take a while and that's why we've got some human blends um, that can give you a more rapid um, start but we haven't actually done that for animals yet um, so um, it can take a while for, for your um, pet to show the full response to uh, in, in terms of probably things like arthritis. Uh, they require the, um, the prostaglandins made from the longer chain uh, omega-3s, uh, EPA, to be downregulate the, the, uh, yeah, down the arthritis. So <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I, it's a long time since I've had a look at the science for this, uh, about 10 years I think, and so I just had another um, refresh just to make sure that nothing has changed in the last 10 years. Um, because to me, um, it's really important that uh, I don't believe everything that's written, written on the internet. Uh, there's an awful lot of um, repeating the same mistake. And so, um, without going to check back in the, the uh, research literature, and because I'm trained and, and worked for as many years as a research scientist, um, I don't operate that way. I check the, the real data from the research literature to see what's, uh, what's really true. Um, and yes, nothing's changed. The um, dogs uh, definitely have the same um, uh, enzyme pathway that humans have, and it and and uh, in, a, in a situation where they've been fed it for a while, it operates efficiently. Um, cats are slightly different. They have a slightly different uh, metabolism, um, and it looks like they might respond even more to um, to something like uh, Flex Super Boost or something akin to that but actually um, when you look at it the, the, they actually do uh, really well on, on flaxseed oil as part of their diet. Um, so one of the interesting things I discovered in this research is that you see one of the misconceptions is that uh, when people um, supplement with ALA, the ALA level goes up, um, the EPA level goes up, and the DHA, which is a longer one and more difficult to convert, uh, doesn't move, or sometimes not very much. And so the mistaken assumption is that um, you can't make the, all the DH you need. The issue is that it only doesn't show up in the blood um, because you don't make it in your liver. Uh, most of the time. So I'd seen previous research with monkeys which showed that um, if you supplement with ALA um, the blood levels of DHA didn't change but the levels in the brain up here for the uh, for the neural, neural um, systems where you need it um, they've gone up. So um, interestingly they've done the same research in cats and found that um, Sometimes it's not uh, converted very efficiently in the liver, but it was converted efficiently in the um, in the neural tissue of the cats. Don't ask me how they did that research, but anyway, that's the that's the numbers that are out there. Um, so I just wanted to 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 reinforce the fact that there is very good evidence out there that that um, animals, um, cats and dogs, and and um, will do very well on flaxseed oil. Um, the other side of the coin is that um, having a, f a little bit of fish oil or krill oil in their diet won't do anything to bring this balance back into equ equ roughly equality. Um, it's just not enough. And so to be really healthy, that's what you need. And of course, um, what you will see is when you supplement with flax oil, uh, and to a much, much lesser extent with fish oil, is that the skin, their pores and their coat um, just bloom. Um, dogs that are being fed, um, mine's run away, um, dogs that are being fed flaxseed oil regularly just have just an amazing sheen on their coat. So do horses too. Um, you can just about um, uh, see a reflection of yourself in their coat. Um, so, and, the, and that's a direct reflection on the, on the imbalance of the omega-3 and omega-6 in their bodies. So, um, yeah, um, a great idea to, to give your pets um, some, uh, for the love of animals, um, black seed oil, and uh, it'll do wonders for their health. So thanks for your time. Um, cheers.